but targeting the animations from motion capture is the best way to fast animate your character. To achieve a highly realistic motion capture, you need to buy expensive gear. But there are free motion captures that give you a very good result. If you want to download the motion captures or mocaps, I recommend you these three websites. Mocap Online is one of the high-end motion captures, but you need to buy them from their website. So it's not a free version, but it's a high quality version. The next one is Rococo. If you download the Rococo Studio, you can download a few free motion captures. But you can also buy the motion captures from Rococo for a cheaper price than Mocap Online. The good thing about Rococo is you can buy a specific motion captures instead of the packs that Mocap Online sells to you. And the other option is the Mixamo website. Mixamo has tons of free motion captures. You can select any motion capture that you like and download it. For this tutorial, I select this motion capture and I want to download only the motion capture, not the default character. To do so, click on the download and in the skin tab, select without a skin and download it. That's it. I'm also using this gorgeous Jinx character that I've downloaded from CG Trader for free. It's the creation of Xpia. Sorry if I butchered your name. You can download it. It's free. The character has a full rig. But I delete everything in order to rig it with Rigify for this tutorial. The next thing that we need is downloading the Rococo add-on for Blender. Go to the Rococo website in the integrations. Go to the Blender. Download the plugin from here. Then we need to install the plugin in Blender. In Blender, go to the Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, click on the Install, select the zip file of your Rococo add-on, and then click Install. Check this add-on, Animation, Rococo Studio Live for Blender. Then in the right menu, in this little arrow, or by pressing N, go to the Rococo, and go to the Retargeting tab. Next, import the mocap that we are downloading from Mixamo. Import FPX, here's the mocap. Let me move it a little bit aside, and import that notice. The Rococo add-on for Blender only works for Blender 3.3 or below. As of the time of recording this video, you can retarget your mocap in Blender 3.4 and above. So keep that in mind that your Blender version should be 3.3 and below. Okay, here in the select the armatures in the source, select the mocap skeleton. You can do that by clicking here and choose the name or click on the eyedrop here and click on your skeleton. Then in the target, select the rigify rig of your character. Then click on the build bone list. In this menu, the Roku add-on tries to match the bones on mocap rig and my character rig, but it always has some problems. So we need to do it manually. Click on this clear button here, and we need to build everything manually. Before we start, I must tell you that we have two ways of retargeting. Retargeting to the FK rig or to the IK rig. So let's start with the FK rigging. Then I show you the IK rig and show you the benefits of IK rigging. Okay, to make our rig IK, select our rig, go to the pose mode, go to the item tab. Here, select the left hand in the IK FK handle. Make it all to the right. The same for the right hand left foot and right foot. You can hide the IK controllers from here if that's what you need. Then let's go back to the Rococo. Here we need to retarget the bones one by one. The hips bone is this bone. We need to retarget this to this cube of Rigify. If I select the cube and see the name, it's torso. So the hips should be retargeted to the torso. The first spine is this one. If you retarget that spine to this one, you have some weird movements. We ignore this one and we start from this one. The name is the spine FK002. The neck and the head are the same. Right shoulder. Okay, we need to check what is the right arm in our mocap skeleton. Select the skeleton, go to the pose mode. The arm limb is the right arm and right forearm and for the hands, right hand. So this one. Here in the Rigify rig, its name is upper arm. So right arm to upper arm FK right. This one. Because we are going to retarget to the FK skeleton. Right forearm is the same forearm FK right and FK right. And my rig doesn't have the fingers for the hand. If you have fingers, here you can retarget every single finger part. So let's go to the left shoulder, shoulder left, upper arm FK left, forearm FK left, hand FK left, skip the fingers, right up leg. Let's check it. This is the upper leg, leg, foot, 
and toe base. Here in my rig, this is the thigh, shin, and foot, and the toe. Okay, thigh, FK, right, shin, FK, right, foot, FK, right, and toe, FK, right, thigh, FK, left, shin, FK, left, foot, FK, left, and toe, FK, left. You can also save these settings if you have the same blender rig setup for any other character then you can import these bone retargetings for that character too okay the next step is to set the rest pose for our mocap and place it back to the origin of this space here in the use pose instead of rest click on the current select our mocap go to the pose mode select everything pose clear transform and off let's go to the front view as you can see my mocap is in t pose and my character is in a pose let's go back to the object mode press alt and g to take it back to the origin of this space go to the pose mode again rotate the arms in order to match my character and the legs okay nice and here we just click on the retarget animation okay let's play the animation Let's hide the mocap rig. Great, as you can see, the animation is retargeted to my character. There are some problems with the FK rigs, and one of them that industries don't use FK rigs that much is this. If I'm in the middle of my animation, and for example, I need the leg to be higher, I go to the pose mode, I want just to bring up the leg or close it a little bit, I need to move this one, move this one, and set a keyframe. And I need to do this for every single frame. If I have some more complex movement, I need to move the limbs one by one. Let's go to the IK rig to show you the benefits. To so we'll go to the IK rig, go to my rig, go to the pose mode, go to the item, unhide the IK rigs, select the leg, make it IK, also the hands, drawing one. Okay, now go back to the Rococo, and here in the upper arm, I should select upper arm ik right forearm has only the fk and the hand has ik right okay for the left hand upper ik left forearm fk and ik left then for the legs thigh ik right shin only has fk foot ik right toe ik right thigh ik left foot ik left and toe ik left okay now let's reset the pose of the mocap again and let's reset the pose of my character too. Defining a rest pose again. Everything is set. Just click on the retarget animation. Okay, let's hide the mocap skeleton and check my animations. Okay, there's something weird. As you can see, the rig is in the place, but the character's leg is not. I think it's the problem with the IK. Yes, I forgot to make this foot IK. Nice. Let me check the others. Everything just fine. Let's check my animations again. Nice. Everything is working fine. The benefit of having the IK rigs is you have every benefit that IK gives you in animations. For example, if this frame of animation I want to change something, I simply select my leg and move it to the direction that I want. I need to make this for every single frame, but it's much easier than working with FK rigs. Okay. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked the video, please hit the like and subscribe to the channel. More videos on rigging, animations, characters, everything related to the character is going to be uploaded soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.